New Year's Day walkies. Look like they're even dead. Really. Yeah. Both very stoozy for New Year's Day walkies. Easy dog. Evening. So, bit of a rubbish day today. I woke up this morning early with with Iz. Um, would have been about seven ish. Um, and my focal thing in my lip and mouth and, and here has been continuous all day today. Um, I've also had a little extra sleep. Um, in the afternoon, which helped a bit. It's, it's less than it was this morning. This morning it was really, really, really bad. Um, but yeah, it's, it's gone away a bit and I'm hoping that decent sleep tonight and getting back on top of things with my diet and everything will help because there's a few things that changed over, you know, so I was doing keto, it was all going really well. And then that, that week before Christmas, I decided I wasn't getting enough energy. So I decided to bring carbs back in um which worked but then over christmas week i've just eaten whatever you know i've kind of just eaten you know as per christmas you know all sweets and chocolate and stuff so that's gone i ditched that as of this morning i'm back on hard keto now um i also had started to drink proper caffeine again purely because our decaf pods had run out and that was all we had we also got a coffee when we went for our walk yesterday. Um, the other thing that happened yesterday, which was a bit of a, a bit of a red flag, was uh, Emma bought a flapjack, quite a sugary, sweet sort of Bakewell flavored flapjack from the coffee van that we we stopped at. And I had a bite of it, and within minutes of biting it, I felt awful. Um, so yeah, sugar's off going back to full keto again now for a bit and see if that regulates things for me. Um, hoping it will. Um, I'm due to speak to the nurses tomorrow anyway. So there was no treatment today. Today was bank holiday off. And then tomorrow is the first day of this week. It's four day week, full week next week. And then the last week is just four days. I finish on the Thursday, um, Thursday the 19th. Um, the other thing it's worth mentioning, I started I started my 88 challenge yesterday. So every, every day in January I'm doing 88 of something. I'll put a little picture up here of what it is. Um, I've not been able to do today's because, because I've not been well. So I'll make up for that tomorrow. Um, hoping that by fixing the diet and uh, getting back on top of sleep and stuff that I'll be able to work out every day and do something active every day. Um, and it'll balance out but I'm going to have to assess things as I go you know if, if this becomes a theme you know if I try when I do the next one and it's too much I'm going to have to dial back the exercise for a while I think and uh, and you know just go from there but it's, it's all a bit annoying but this is how it was you know sort of introduced to me you know I was told from the word go that you know there was likely to be steps back and, you know, this feels like this one of the steps back you know when I first started the radiotherapy that first week I had that weird thing where my, my thing came on and they put me on steroids and it fixed it I'm on right down at the lowest dose of steroids now it's been a reducing regime um, and so yeah I'm only on two, two milligrams a day now which is quite low um, due to meet with the nurses anyway to discuss going on to a steady dose over over the course of the rest of the radio because i've actually only got enough to last till thursday this week um and yeah i think i think it's going to be they, they may decide to put the kepper up as well um 
given what's happened over the last 24 hours. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Um, just gonna, I'm just going to do whatever they, they think is best. Um, go from there. Right, it's kicking off, so uh, I'll leave it there. Morning. Oh, long day yesterday. So I was in the hospital for about seven hours um, when I saw the nurse um, about my the, the the thing, you know, the continuous numbness in my hand and my face. She immediately went to get the reg who did the sort of the standard tests, you know, hold your arms up, resist, you know, push out, push in, blow your cheeks up, all that stuff. Um, and very quickly decided I needed a scan. So spent hours then waiting for a CT scan. Um, got the scan, a couple of hours then waiting for the result to come back. The result was that I've got a very small um, bleed between between the so that you know the brain is kind of in a bag called the dura um and the bleed is outside of that between that and the bone um so whilst it's causing pressure at the moment it should go away um because it'll it'll spread out essentially around the gap between well it's not a gap but you know between the the layer that covers the brain and the skull it should should spread out over time um, they are though sending me for a full MRI today as well to make sure that there's nothing sinister going on inside the brain barrier um, uh, hopefully not and um, make sure that the, um, the tumour hasn't grown significantly for whatever reason and, and you know they need to change the way that they're, they're doing the treatment so yeah it's going to be another long day today um, Got my treatment at one and then the MRI at two. So usually the treatment runs about an hour behind, so I'm hoping that when I get there and say, look, uh, you know, can't mess about today, they'll just funnel me straight in the machine and then uh, and then uh, all will be well. Fingers crossed. So, update on the boy. He's uh, still refusing to sleep uh, and, you know, civilized time, so he's awake now. <clears throat> but he's settled at least so I've got him um, Emma's gone to bed bless her she's been up all night again um, I've got to get decent sleep at night um, with all this that's going on at the moment I'd just be absolutely useless if I didn't so she's giving me a good sort of seven eight hours a night um, bless her and then she, you know she'll only get a couple of hours this morning um, so it's half eight now so we'll be lucky if she can last till about half ten before he wants feeding again and then chances are I'll, I'll be able to get me showering and that while she's feeding then she might get another hour before we have to leave um, and then uh, hopefully I won't be as late today as I was yesterday you know yesterday I was out of the house from midday till half past seven so Emma didn't really get the opportunity to get her sleep the way we normally would do it. My mum came to the rescue and uh, took his for a bit. You had a little grandma snooze, didn't you? Yeah. But yeah, other than that, there's no real progress. So my um, my ATH challenge has kind of gone in the bin for the last few days. So my plan is to try and catch up on that eventually. And once whatever the result of this scan is, um, and any change of medication, which I'm kind of anticipating is coming. So I'm, I reckon they'll probably put the steroids up and they may put my Kepa up as well. Um, once that's done, I'm hoping that I'll be able to kind of get back to normal a little bit again and start, you know, start the, uh, the physical side of stuff again, but I'll have to you know, go all the way back to the beginning. So some of the things that I had planned were progressions from progress I'd, I'd made um, so I'll probably be stripping that back and doing only body weight stuff for a little while um, and then um, and then yeah build, build up from there again I've got, a, I've got an end goal in sight now for, as far as the physical side of stuff goes so there's a there's a seminar on weightlifting in Hull that I've signed up to go to um, uh, on the 4th of March 
So I'm hoping that by then I'll be well enough that I can do some stuff. Um, and you know, join in on the physical parts of it. Otherwise I'll just be sat there listening. But either way, I'm sure they'll take my money and let me listen, so see how we get on. Uh, more updates to follow once I know what's happened with this scan.